So PAP, pretty straightforward. Two-way handshake, the username and password is sent from the remote site to the central site in plain text. The central site looks it up in his in his database and if the username and password is permissible, if it's allowable, then yep, he gets the okay and the connection is established. CHAP is a little more complicated. It, it starts off the same way. The remote site will send the central site a username and password. The central site looks it up. If it's good, then that's, that's sort of the first obstacle. Now the next obstacle that's going to occur is the central site is going to is going to take that username and password, apply MD5 to it, which is a hash function that's going to take the username and password and it's going to cryptify it. It's, it's going to encode it. So then that encoded string gets sent from the central site back to the remote site and the remote site needs to use his hash function in order to decode the message to see if they have matching strings. And if they do, then the connection is a go.